Yeah, hi, Sharon Jesus. Yeah, it's Friday, just got off work. Hey, I got this good one for you. It's called uh, Holy Spirit in You. I took from, um, well, from different parts in the Bible. Uh, uh, John 9, 11, and, you know, just the way that God uh, talks to us, you know. It's, it, it, he's, you know, God of miracles. Anyways, this is called Holy Spirit in You. His neighbors and others knew him as a blind man who sat and begged each day. Though others couldn't believe what Jesus did, said, it's impossible, there's just no way. You mean to say, said the unbelievers, this man, Jesus, spat upon the ground, took it in his hands and made some mud, then on your eyes he spread it around. Then when you opened your eyelids, you saw the light, the light of the world open, your darkness of the night. Impossible. You're an imposter to try to change our law. You're blind from birth in darkness. But Jesus, you saw. Do you believe in miracles when it comes to Jesus? I hope you do. He will lead you straight to his glory if you have his Holy Spirit in you. After Jesus crossed over to the far side of the Sea of Galilee, a huge crowd followed him. For the lame could walk and the blind people see. Jesus tested Philip. He asked, where can we buy bread? Five thousand men alone and their families to be fed. Then Andrew Simon, Peter's brother, told Jesus, There's a lad with five loaves and barley and two fish. Jesus took them. Thank you, Father. Do with these what you wish. Impossible. This can't happen. I will tell you what man's law will do. On Friday, you can only eat fish. It's a sin to eat meat on Friday for you. Do you believe in miracles when it comes to Jesus? I hope you do. He will lead you straight to his glory if you have his Holy Spirit in you. One day, Jesus' disciples got into a boat alone, then waited just until it turned dark. They sat silent on the shore. Let's cross over. There's the boat will park. But as they were crossing over, the waves were getting rough. They struggled to stay afloat. Crossing over was getting tough. Then out on the water, walking on the waves, Jesus came again to rescue them. He's the only one who can save. Impossible, you're crazy. Man can't walk on the top of waves. And only if you obey the law, well, then your life be saved. Do you believe in miracles when it comes to Jesus? I hope you do. He will lead you straight to his glory if you have his Holy Spirit in you. Jesus came down from his glory to show his love for all. All that he suffered, he did to give his light so it can shine to you. For he was born as a babe but to a virgin. The word of God became man to show God's love for his children, to walk with man hand in hand. He went to his destination all the way to Calvary, then sent us his Holy Spirit to lead us to his eternity. Impossible. A virgin can't give birth. I can't be born again. Why would God from heaven come to suffer and die then live within? Do you believe in miracles when it comes to Jesus? I hope you do. He will lead you straight to his glory if you have his Holy Spirit in you. For I believe in miracles. I'll share my testimony. How Jesus found this sinner in my pride was lost and couldn't see. See how the Holy Spirit was trying to get in. I was on this merry-go-round in circles, was in a spin... I couldn't find your narrow road, kept wandering off the path, tried to do it my own way, though I couldn't do the math. 
Impossible, you're insane, you can't be born again. How can you start over if religion, you don't pay tithes for sin? Do you believe in miracles when it comes to Jesus? I hope you do. He will lead you straight to his glory if you have his Holy Spirit in you. This is sharing Jesus. Yes, the whole key to everything is having God lead you and, and guide you in his Holy Spirit. You know, you can't do this on your own. you got to have Jesus doing it for you. And he wants to. Isn't that beautiful that he loves us that much? This is sharing Jesus. Have a wonderful day.